Hi, I'm Pete Calvetti, and you're watching Cook This, where we take some of our local favorite restaurants, bring them in-house, and ask them to show us some of their favorite signature dishes. Um, but first, before I introduce our favorite restaurant over here of the day, we're going to introduce our celebrity panel of judges here from the school. Today we have Mr. Troy Gobble. Hi. Good morning. Uh, Mrs. Patty Farley from the Culinary Division here. Good morning. And Ms. Chinsia Mudra, from the, one of the students from the school here. Today we have uh, a local favorite restaurant called the Choo Choo, and we have one of the chefs here to show us. Uh, Mr. Dan, hello Dan, how are you? How are you doing? Good. He's going to start off with showing us their famous ahi pokey tuna with a mango salsa and also served with some lotus root chips. Okay, so I'm going to let you take that over there. Uh, we're going to start off making our uh, pokey sauce, which uh, we got a cup here of uh, ponzu sauce. So it's got to be fun to say automatically yeah. off the top. I'm going to make you some pokey sauce. I'll be right back. I'm telling you, and think about it. And uh, ponzu is just a uh, citrus-infused uh, Japanese soy sauce. That's a ponzu sauce? Oh. Yes. And we got a uh, half a cup of uh, pineapple juice, half a cup of rice wine vinegar, half a cup of sesame oil, half a cup of honey. I've learned so much stuff this week. <laughs> That's how I feel. Now I'm cooking at home and I can't get this, let's say, ponzu sauce. Can I make my own? Can I just take some pineapple juice and citrus juice and mix it with soy sauce to get the same effect? I'm not really positive, but okay. I, I assume I think you could. I don't know if it'll be the same I'm sure. though. Can you I'm it sure. The store? You might be so. able to get it at uh, okay. like an Asian market type place. Yeah. Um, and we just want uh, about a half a cup of cilantro. I'm going to reserve some of this for the actual dish. I'm just going to mix that Very up. Very Asian type of sauce here, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's uh, right. Pokey is just uh, Hawaiian for uh, small piece or cut piece, which is what we do with the okay. tuna. We dice it in a kind of a small cut, which is... More uh, of a Pacific Asian then. Yes. Just whisk that up. A little pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, season everything. And how long have you been at the Choo Choo? I've been there since the end of May, so almost 10 months okay. right now. Do you come from another restaurant or right out of culinary school? No, I've not gone to culinary school. I, uh, I've, I've worked in a couple different restaurants, but I uh, like the Choo Choo the best. Uh, <laughs> all right, and then right now we're going to actually build the pokey tuna. We got our lotus root chips here. We got Full a little pot here. His boss is over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got our lotus root chips, which are um, it's an Asian root vegetable. Uh, looks like this. Huh. We're gonna drop these into a nice our oil here. <clears throat> which is a little more controlled at the restaurant because we have a fryer for that. Sure. But uh, <laughs> do what we can. Always makes a splash here on camera. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here comes All the right. fire alarm. Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> <our pudding laughs> I remember. I'm going to start with uh, cutting up some cucumber for the dish. We use seedless cucumbers. I just said small cucumber. So much easier to work with, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers are great. Uh, we got a pinch of cilantro here, about a teaspoon of green onion. A little salt in there too, a little pepper, a cucumber, we our tuna, oh, let's do the avocado first. We got our avocado, we There's only a, need about a, a lot of ingredients in this. Mm -hmm. yeah, and our chips look done, so we're going to pull these out. What do you, what do you uh, fry them in? Uh, just, a, just a basic fryer oil. We uh, actually use uh, soybean oil. Okay. Uh, We've so got a lot of different oils this, this week. People with uh, allergies, you know, come okay. to the restaurant, so you can't use peanut oil one. or something like that. Okay. So it has a good smoke point, soybean oil? Yes. So we got our avocado, we're just going to cut it right here in the skin. Makes it easier. <coughs> just kind of flop it right in here into our bowl with the rest of our ingredients. I'd love to see it. A lot of people make such a mess with yeah. avocado. Yeah. You know, yeah. they don't know how to cut it, or they're trying to get that skin off. Basically what he did, yeah, you're just cutting the... Best way to do it. You're cutting it inside, yeah, I love and then to it just watch. scoops right off. 
Yeah, it looks uh, like I'm mangling something when I go at an avocado. Mm -hmm. You just made that Get look so well. Oh, yeah, there's hands. stuff <laughs> everywhere. I end up with green claw. You're glad to be doing a guacamole, All right, we got right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a good thing I'm smushing it up. Yeah. Got our tuna right here, which is a uh, nice ahi tuna. It's sushi grade. Uh, we'll bring it in um, uh, almost every other day. We go through a lot of tuna. Yeah, that's stuff you mm -hmm. have to brought in every day. Uh, what does sushi grade mean? Just... Able to eat it raw. Yeah, it's able to eat it raw, condition. great great quality. Okay. Okay. You know, you it's expensive to the, mm -hmm. to the normal yes. person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to be using canned tuna in this dish mm. and not be happy with your result. <laughs> uh, we're just going to cut that up into nice little okay. cubes. Cubed it up. Yeah, this dish is similar to a tartare, but cubes instead of chopped. Okay. We're just going to kind of mix that up together a little bit. I'm gonna grab our little ladle over here. Take a little bit of our sauce. Throw that in there. You don't need too much sauce for this. Just about two tablespoons will do. Kind of want to mix it up a little here. That's a move I do have. The hand okay. mix. So okay. I can do that. Yeah, okay. Yes, Chef's my plate is right here. That's right. Hands. Get my <laughs> cutting board out of the way. <laughs> I tell the kids all the time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We got our plate. We use a ring for plating, okay. which makes it look a little nicer, builds mm -hmm. height on the plate. Mm -hmm. Just gonna fill that nice with our mix. I'm learning about all the equipment that I need to get yeah. for the restaurant class, yeah. What is this called? Does this have a specific name? <laughs> just the, uh, the former, how they make things mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so nicely like well, that. Well, we should have to do basic ring, right? okay. some imitation, you know, but so that'll hold everything this. together? Yeah. All right, let's get, a little get it to them so they can see what they're eating here. All right, and for our final plating, we just throw a little bit of the sriracha down on here. Spice it up. Now, what kind of sauce is that? It's a sriracha, spicy sauce. Yeah, it's a uh, Thai chili sauce. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to wow. get it over there. So I'm thinking that this is kind of, with the vinegars and your citrus, you're imitating a ceviche, right? So that it's slightly cooking that tuna, but still in the a raw form? Yeah, we have very little cook on okay. it. Okay. Not really that much. Pretty. That's not the right word, cooking. You need one of these in there? Yeah, so we want to throw... Right. You know, oh, you've had some Right, that would be right. We'll throw our lotus right. roots in here. You'd like me to go, yes? Yeah. You'd like me to go science on you. There's I do, I love it. That's an oxidation. We'll put it in the middle There's an here. oxidation there reaction you go. happening That's on the it. surface of the tuna. Yes. That's going to change We'll put it in the middle the there, everyone, so the everyone can take a bite. Oh, right. okay, you're right. We do need the... Very pretty, very uh, nice presentation over there. Go ahead, honey. You just want to dig right yes, in? Yeah, no, just everyone just take okay. a bite and tell me what you okay. think. A lot of, a lot of ingredients okay. in there. Oh, there Look we go. Look at that. Yeah. There tower there of fall your hard work. A tower of fallen tuna. Mm. Oh, wow. A lot of nice, colorful, fresh ingredients in there, mm. huh? Well, the sauce fresh. is wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. It's a very good tuna, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sushi it blends green. so well together. Don't you think? Yeah, and the greens give out a little crunch. Mm -hmm. when you, that, I don't know what that is that I'm eating. Excellent. I'm gonna, gonna try say, some I of the spicy try stuff. That too. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that was our ahi pokey tuna with mango oh, salsa wow. and lotus root chips, and uh, we'll be right back after this break. That sauce is amazing. Hi, I'm Pete Calvetti, and you're watching Cook This. Welcome back. Uh, to reintroduce our celebrity panel of judges here, we have Mr. Troy Gobble today. Oh. We have Mrs. Patty Farley. Hi. And Ms. Chinsia Mudra. Hi. Welcome. Again, we're um, presenting uh, the Choo Choo Cafe located in Riverside today. It's been around for a long time, and we have one of their executive chefs, Mr. Dan, here. He's going to show us the second plate of the day, which is a penne pasta with smoked Gouda cheese and chicken. Take it over, Dan. All right, yeah, this is one of our most popular dishes. Uh, we serve it at lunch and dinner. Uh, we're going to start with three ounces of uh, pre-grilled. We grill it uh, uh, every week at the restaurant, every couple days, of uh, chicken that's pre-portioned off. The grilling it beforehand gives it a nice charred flavor from the open mm -hmm. fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. To that, we're going to add our uh, quarter cup of uh, applewood smoked bacon. Bacon. Bacon love makes it. everything love better. Bacon. Bacon Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then we got a quarter cup here of uh, diced fresh tomato. Okay. 
quarter cup here of some diced so. green onions. I'm just gonna mix this around here. Oh, is that regular bacon or special kind of bacon? Oh, uh, it's applewood smoke. So they smoke it over uh, applewood. So it gives okay. it a, a, a more complex flavor. I like it a lot better than just yeah. your regular Oscar Fancy Meyer. bacon. Mm -hmm. What's better uh, than bacon? Fancy bacon. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna season. Better the bacon is more bacon. <laughs> season everything a little salt and pepper here. Oh, you can smell it. Yeah. You can smell that? Yeah. <coughs> like I said, we grill the chicken ahead of time a little bit, but we cook it to a medium rare, which okay. is obviously not a so good temperature. So you want to finish it in the pan mm -hmm. so it doesn't dry out. Do you marinate it or season the chicken before with anything? Uh, just a little olive oil, salt, pepper. Okay. Grill it. Um, take it off the grill, get it cold as quick as possible, quick cut chill. it up. Okay. Got that going. So what do you do? You cook it like 75% of the way and then the other 25% with this bite? Yeah, right about okay. there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got our uh, three quarters cup heavy cream. Oh no. Which is our <laughs> sauce. We're going to throw that in there. Hopefully this burner is hot enough to reduce What's it better still. than bacon is cream. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the healthy choice menu. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Friday. Like. Yeah, that's what I like. So we're gonna mix that in. We're gonna add to that our quarter cup of uh, smoked Gouda cheese. And Gouda is just a, uh, it's a Dutch cheese, but we use the smoked version. It gives a lot it's more flavor the most to the dish. popular, isn't it? The smoked Gouda? That's all I, I see that one everywhere, smoked Gouda. Depends what you're making. Yeah. Don't you think? Because it's really a pronounced flavor compared to. I just got introduced to Gouda a couple years ago and now I eat it all the time. It's really a great cheese. All right. Does it melt really well? Is it, like, or is it going to be chunky? Um, I don't think so. I've never really melted. I've seen it on sandwiches and, and mm -hmm. pastas and stuff like that. But a good distinctive flavor on a sandwich. Yeah, it melts That's why I was really, good. I was really looking forward to seeing this melt it down in a pasta. It melts pretty good. So it does melt pretty reducing good? Reducing okay. that. Yeah, at the restaurant we obviously have the uh, gas burners, so we get a lot higher flame mm -hmm. than we got here today, but it's work with what you got. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, basically once you add all that in, you want it to, all the flavors to blend, reduce down a little bit, make a nice thick sauce for you. Right here we have our eight ounces of cooked penne pasta. We uh, partially cook it ahead of time, so you just blanch it in the hot water. Mm -hmm. So that way you're not waiting all day for your pasta. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add that into the water right now. Let that get going. And they're so easy to work with. So, easy, so much easier to work with. Yeah. <clears throat> is that the only kind of cheese you put in there? Is the gouda? The gouda goes in the dish, and then we finish with a uh, fresh grated Parmigiano Reggiano, On which top. we have over oh, here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a big stick of butter. Mm, yeah, I thought I we were getting a I stick I of butter coming. <laughs> a little cream and butter, it's extra a little healthy for you. <laughs> Butter's optional. Yeah. It looks like this dish doesn't need the butter. It looks like it's got like good stuff in it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. It's starting to boil up nice. We're gonna take our pasta out of the water. See, drain off that excess water. We're making pasta, not soup. Dump that in there. Was this the plate? No, we you have guys a had that bowl. And you said this is your most popular dish? Yes, it's one of the most popular. People seem to love it. I mean, it's got bacon, chicken. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and you, you do it for lunch and dinner? Yes, we offer this at lunch and dinner. And I don't remember how many guests you can serve at the Choo Choo. I know you have that beautiful new space. Yeah, we just, we've been there about a year now, a little mm -hmm. over a year, mm -hmm. and, uh, just this past February. And, uh, yeah, we see it anywhere, I think, from about 80 to 100 at a time okay. at can hold. Let's finish just with a little more salt and pepper. And do you do any carryouts? Yes, we do carry you out do. too. Okay. Our chef the other day said that that was really an increase in his business, was more carryouts than dining in. Carry, restaurants always love carryouts. It's, mm -hmm. it's minimal amount of work, minimal amount of after work. So if you're going to make that give a good presentation and send it all to go. It's cheaper on labor. All right, this looks about good. All right. We're gonna plate up That's here. nice. Just kind of try and pile it's everything nice and tall in the middle if it's we can. It's on the bill. Yeah, it is. 
clean up our plate a little bit. That's how my pregnant wife gets we'll her extra meals with Terry we'll over to them. <laughs> get uh, right. one in right, between so we lunch finish and dinner. it with a nice fresh grated Parmesan Reggiano. Just want to grate some of that. There's nothing like the fresh grated stuff. No, I, I always agree. Like, stop buying the stuff in the container. Just get a little piece, get a grater. Anytime you make pasta at home, just do that fresh shaved stuff over your pasta. It makes a big difference. Then just some nice little parsley leaves here on top for color. Alrighty. Pass it over to them and keep it away from me. Okay. Guys, take go. a bite. Tell me what you think. It's our penne pasta. The famous smoked penne gouda pasta gouda. with smoked gouda cheese and chicken. It looks wonderful. It does. What's your favorite plate to make there? Here, I'm going to um, scoop it out. Do you care? No, that's a good idea. Do you have a favorite? No, I, just, I like everything. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be the mom. This is probably one of the one of Thank the you. better sure. ones to make. It's just all in the pan. Oh, well, I can going. smell the bacon. Mm. So tell me your first impression, Troy, since you're the first. Ah, oh, it's creamy, and the the bacon flavor goes all the way through it. And I really like the the chives in there. Oh, nice. Was chinsia? The chicken. I'm sorry. The chicken is really good. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, the Gouda is lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really makes a difference in that cream sauce. It does. That's kind of like the signature part of it. Yes, yeah, it's very you different. can tell. I, I've mm -hmm. never even heard of that anywhere, so that's, that's good. It's, mm -hmm. Seems like it's a very um, unique plate that you find only there. And it's not stringy at all. How's that smoked applewood down. bacon? It's great. It's hard to talk because I'm eating so much. <laughs> exactly. I know, I feel like I'm disturbing you guys. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's I'll like, let you guys finish that. Yes, like this, yes, please. Yes. I'll let you guys finish that. So that was the penny pasta with smoked gouda cheese and chicken. Um, we're going to get to our next plate. Some steak Diane is next. We'll be right back after the break. Hi, welcome back to Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. And our celebrity panel of judges today, one more time, is Mr. Troy Gobble. How you doing? Mrs. Patty Farley. Hi. And Miss Chinsia Mudra. Hi. Welcome. Thank you very much. Um, again, hosting today, we have uh, the Choo Choo Cafe located in Riverside. And we have his executive chef here, Mr. Dan, showing us the last plate of the day, which is a steak Diane. Take it over, Dan. All right, well, we're going to start. Uh, just put a little pat of butter here in our pan. Let that start to melt. Uh, then we're going to take our steaks right here. Uh, we have nine ounce filet of tenderloin, filet mignon. Uh, we're going to season that up. Just don't want a bland steak. We got some butter in this dish here. Butter. <laughs> yep. We had some bacon in the last one, so we got some butter here. You got to get bacon and steak and butter together. <laughs> bacon wrap steak. There you go. Yeah. All right. Got it seasoned that's up. That's cool though. Yeah, that's true. This looks way. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got butter around the pan here. Any regular butter will do? Yeah, it's, you know. I'm going to throw these in here. Let them start to sear off on this side. So that's just a basic seasoning, salt and pepper? Yep. So Go over here, we're going to start our, our sauce. We got a couple mushrooms. We're just whoop, jumping mushrooms. <laughs> Gonna kind of slice these up. You don't need too many. Three or four will do. Thank you. Now, I know you said you were relatively new at the Choo Choo, but how long have you actually been a chef? Um, I've been cooking since I was a uh, kid with my mom in the mm -hmm. kitchen, just helping out. That's how I developed my passion. Uh, I've been working in restaurants now since uh, 2007, so a couple of years now. Uh, okay, we got our mushrooms right here, and we're gonna chop up a shallot, which is a tiny little version of an onion, just different flavor profile. It's more of a subtle flavor, isn't it? Yeah. It's not as oniony. Yes. Okay. It's got a more distinct flavor, different than the onion. For people that want to get into culinary as a profession, what kind of tips would you like to give us? Tips, just a uh, well, big thing is make sure it's right for you shoes. first. Yeah. Comfortable, comfortable shoes, shoes. Are, are great. <laughs> comfortable shoes. Great thing to have. That's my first bit of advice. <laughs> All right, let's flip.
flip our steaks over, get them going on the other side. Who's the chef with the orange Crocs? <laughs> Mario Batali. Mario, Mario Batali. Batali. There yeah. you go, Mario. I, um, got those going. Like I said, this is a nine ounce filet, cut in half today for the purposes of cooking time. I don't want to serve okay. you completely raw meat. Unless you like it that way, I don't know. <laughs> First dish, yeah. Urgh. All right. And this is coming with a Diane sauce, which is a uh, classic sauce, mm -hmm. mushroom sauce. Who's Diane? Well, I don't know. Diana, uh, it's, it's thought to be named after um, the Roman goddess Diana. Oh, there you go. go. Which Thank is uh, the goddess of the hunt, uh, because uh, they oh, originally it was prepared with... Uh, you know, like venison and that sort of stuff, more gamey meats when it was uh, starting off. I'm going to take these out, let them rest right here. Let your meat rest, let all the juices absorb back into there. Sure. So then we're going to finish it in the pan with the sauce. We're going to start by throwing our mushrooms in here, make our pan are sauce. Those baby bellas? Or are they just basic mushrooms? I don't know these are, uh, we use cremini mushrooms. Cremini. Okay. But for whatever mushroom you like would work in this dish. Cremini's aren't always easy to find, though. So they're definitely seasonal specific, aren't they? No, we get them okay. around. Okay. We'll get a big produce uh, supplier. Supplier, though, sure. You're going to the grocery store, maybe? Yeah. 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 That's That's what I'm, hard, but I'm thinking I mean, of the home cook You could use uh, uh, button mushrooms, very That's similar. Nice. It's just lighter yeah. in color. Um, all right, we got this going. We're going to add to this a little bit of garlic, about a teaspoon. Throw that in there, get that mix up. I'm going to throw in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, let that go. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard, I'm going to mix that up again. Oh. That cook. really smells great. Yeah, you cook the you mustard, really it gives it a nice, mm -hmm. nice roasted flavor yeah. then. Uh, we're going to squeeze about a half of lemon in here. And when you do your hands and you want to put seeds in your sauce. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to brag to John what we ate today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, got this. We're going to deglaze our pan with a little red wine here. Which deglazing, it just helps pick up all those good flavor bits off the bottom of the pan. So you got all that extra flavor in your sauce. Mm -hmm. We're going to add to that our demi-glaze, which is just a, a nice uh, basic veal stock kind of sauce. That will help thicken this sauce up real nice too. We're going to add a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme, some nice aromatic flavor. You just want to pull the leaves off. Missed that one. We're going to want to take our steaks and throw those back in to finish them off. That's a nice sauce. Wow. That's lovely. Yeah. We're going to need You can some. really smell the yes. flavors. Yes. And we're going to add talks about a nice vision. squirt of brandy to a add a little uh, more flavor. Yeah, I got a little saliva all, going. Do you yeah. notice how we're all leaning forward? <laughs> no, it's not very often you get a nice steak for breakfast. That's right. Right. Just going to let this cook up a little more. Wow, you guys ought to put a table back in the kitchen. It's fun to watch. Yes. <laughs> well, that's where the concept of the open kitchens came. You know, yeah. we could see a good, nice, clean kitchen with some chefs and, and watch what they do. That's, that's what we have at, at the Choo Choo. We have a nice open kitchen, nice window you can view in. Nice. From, uh, well, when you're making a nice place booth. like this, you want to show it off, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so this is looking good. Sauce is thickened up. Does it always need the um, <laughs> tenderloin? Does it always need the filet? Uh, we do is it at the restaurant. We have a couple different top. We call it a topper for on top of your steak. Gotcha. Um, we have a couple different ones, but the Diane is, is the most popular. Okay. But uh, probably a close second would be our peppercorn brandy mm -hmm. sauce, okay. mm -hmm. which is uh, one of my favorites too. All right, we need to plate up. Plate up our steak. Yeah. <laughs> kind of throw it on an angle here, add a little more height to the plate. Okay. We're not going to use all the sauce. I made a little extra here. You guys want it? Everybody have a plate. Beautiful. But didn't he say that was one serving? All right. 
That's the standard right. size of one serving. That's a lot of steak. Holy cow. Yeah, this is a, a nine That's ounce, good. but we have a couple different cuts. You can get this. We got different cuts of steaks and types. And then we're going to just add a little color here. Throw a couple of tomato wedges in here for you. And that is the steak thing. Take a bite, guys. Thank you. Okay, we got to hurry up. Take Mom, you're, you're in charge okay, of okay, cutting it up okay, for us. Okay, with my clean fork. Better have a piece first. Yeah, there you go. That sauce looks great. And you're going to want to dip. It's pretty raw. So we've been talking all week, and since this is our second last episode, we're trying oh, yeah. to think of how to do oh, smell vision yeah. We've been cooking so many great yeah. things. That smells fantastic. Whatever. With that wine and that, um, the wine and the, what was that, brandy? Yes. I'll yeah. cut up several pieces. Whoever invents the smell of vision. Because I know you're going to want to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, no one can talk except me, so now First I'm. First impression, guys, I'm then going we got to go. Ta taste. Oh. That sauce is amazing. Is it? Oh, it, it just, it totally takes the steak to a different Very level. Very complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's mm -hmm. so many flavors, flavors in there. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, it's hard to. I well, I want to say thank you to our judges today for well, coming in and eating steak. And the beef. Like is it was really so hard for them. Oh. Tender. And I want to say thank you to our executive chef, Mr. Dan, Lovely. here, and thank say thank you. you to the Choo Choo for coming in and cooking for us. Thank you very us. much. Oh, I'm your host, Calvetti, and I'm to our next show. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.